Hey, this is John Cena, and you are watching this WWE Fan 13. Hey, what's up, guys, and welcome to today's video. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about my five dream WWE figures and play sets that I wish WWE would team up with either Mattel, um, any Lego, or any other companies. So with that being said, let's get started. And before I get started today, guys, um, I actually want you guys to head down below for the question of the day. Today's question of the day is what are your top five figures and play sets that you guys want to see WWE make? Whether it's a figure... Um, you know, a ring set, um, you know, Legos, anything that you guys can think of, comment down below. I want to see what you guys are thinking of. So with that being said, let's get started. And number five, if you guys remember back in two th early 2000s, Eddie Guerrero and Chavo Guerrero were part of Los Guerreros. And there was a scene and one of these, this scene is always stuck in my head as one of my favorite Eddie Guerrero promos. And like kind of like, been, like just one of the, you know, like the, I guess like you can call it a promo, vignettes. I don't, I don't know what you would call it, um, that uh, he ever put on. And it, I don't know why it always makes me laugh whenever I go back and watch it. And it is the pool scene where Chavo and Eddie are walking around these like nice, like, like neighborhoods going to different uh houses and pretending that they're pool cleaners because if you guys don't know stereotypical um in our mexican community if you guys don't know i am mexican i'm white mexican native american i'm a mix but a stereotype for uh, mexican people is that they're you know pool cleaners uh you know gardeners stuff like that um and so that's why eddie was playing off on this um on this scene so they go in and they tell him hey you know we're pool cleaners we'll charge you this much we'll clean your pool we got you don't worry it was like an elderly lady and the lady's like oh yeah go ahead and then it like kind of skips time and it has like eddie and chavo in the back doing like the conga line like with some girls and they're using the pool and then the old lady comes out oh, are you almost done he's like oh yeah yeah we're almost done and like they're all dancing and it's like a big old like party bash in the backyard and that scene if you guys have not seen it um it just has always made me laugh if you guys have not seen it after the video you definitely gotta go watch it um eddie just did you know amazing stuff so that is something i would want to see them do into a figure and you're wondering how are they gonna make that into a figure well you know what let me tell you so if you guys have ever seen these figures where they kind of take a moment and lock it in time so this one specifically, it was when Chris Jericho and Kevin Owens did the Festival of Friendship. If you guys remember this, this was probably, this was pretty recent, the last few years. Um, what I think they could do with the figure is do something very similar to this kind of box. Um, and instead of obviously the Las Vegas design, they could do a pool party. So obviously they don't have to include a pool. Like, you know, this isn't Barbies, you know, you don't have to, you don't have to include a pool. But you could have like Eddie and Chavo in the, in the gear that they were wearing, you know, the the pool gear they were wearing and then you could have i think in the scene they had like the pool cleaner i think they had some kind of floaties um what else did they have? you could have the background be the swimming pool um you can even have the ground be the pool and you could just include a lot of the props that they were using during the show and during the promo um and then on the all the box design could just be kind of like a summer pool vibes and then on the back you could talk about the story of the promo and then have some pictures on the side of it so that's my opinion. I think that would be a really cool, really, really cool figure. Um, I know I would pre-order it and, you know, definitely be one of the first ones to buy that thing. So that is my number five. Uh, coming in at number four, if you guys remember the moment that literally, I think, dropped a lot of our hearts, especially to the young ones who did not realize, like myself at the time, that wrestling was pretty scripted. You know, at the time, I, I didn't know much about it. Um, you know, I still kind of was like kind of teetering whether this was like real, if it was kind of fake or scripted. Um, not fake is the right word, so scripted. Um, and so you guys remember when Vince McMahon walked into that limo and he closes the door and the limo explodes. That is one moment I will always remember that freaked me out and left me wondering to the next week if Vince McMahon was dead genuinely was so concerned about him like i was genuinely concerned and so um i think it would be really cool to see that put moment to put into a figure and if you guys are wondering how are they going to do that well let me grab this figure over here to show you guys so they could do one of two things they could as you guys see they're doing those new if you guys have seen my toy hunts they're doing those new um 
uh, like vehicles. So the, I think they have like a semi-truck one, they have an ambulance, they have Big E on a four-wheeler, you know, they have a whole bunch of stuff. So they could either do a limo and it could just be a non-blown up limo. You know, it could be a limo that the kids could actually use. Just, to, but then they'll have like, um, you can open it up and put Vince McMahon inside, you know, that kind of set. But if you don't want to do a whole limo, what you could do is take after this figure, Milkomania. Um, if you guys see on the inside, if you open it up, uh, you see it has Kurt Angle. Let me get you a better view. It has Kurt Angle, Stone Cold, and Stephanie. And if you guys don't remember this moment, this is when Kurt Angle came out in the milk truck and blasted everybody with milk. Well, what they could do very similar to this is they could do either just a regular limo, kind of shaped like this, or they could do like a blown up looking limo. Whichever ones they would want to do. I would say probably maybe in, if they were doing it this way, it would be a blown up limo. And then when you open on the front, it would just be a limo. Maybe talk, maybe make a title, Vince McMahon limo accident or something like that, you know. And then when you open it up, you could have uh, just Vince McMahon in here. Maybe you could have a driver. I don't know. Uh, you could have whoever was involved in the feud at the time. Um, I can't exactly remember what happened with that feud or why the car was blown up. My memory's not the best because of the cancer, but um, you can have anything associated with that incident. So you could, like I said, Vince McMahon and in the back. You could have some like little wine bottles or some champagne glasses because, you know, in a limo, always have champagne glasses. And I'm sure you know Vince McMahon. You could have anyone who was related to the incident and the promo and the show at the time involving the storyline. And then at the bottom, where here it says Milkomania, you could do another, like, maybe Vince McMahon limo accident or something along the lines, if you get what I'm saying. And then on the back of the limo, you could have this, the picture of the limo blown up or being blown up. And then you could put the story here about, you know, what, why was this limo blown up? What happened? Who did it? Why did it happen? So on and so forth. So I think that would actually be a really, really cool figure to have. And WWE Mattel, if you're uh, you're watching this and you use this idea, you know, make sure you credit me. Um, no, I'm just joking. But yeah, so I think that would be a really cool figure to have. And like I said, that's one moment in WWE history that at the time since I was a child, I really was freaked out on for his well-being. And I was thinking, oh my God, WWE is going to end. Vince McMahon is dead. Like, oh my God, like, what are we going to do? Like, that's literally how much it freaked me out. Because like I said, I was a kid. So yeah, that's my number four. Coming in at number three. Um, this is more of a sentimental reason for me. Um, not a lot of people might want this kind of figure. I definitely would, and it's going to make sense why. I would want a John Cena Make-A-Wish figure. Um, now, I know they did kind of a John Cena Make-A-Wish, like very vaguely. It wasn't like the most Make-A-Wishy figure, but I would want like a whole elite figure. Like, I would want maybe it to be in a blue box. Like, it would be a special limited edition box. Uh, so the box, all of it would be blue, like Make-A-Wish blue and white. And then on the front, it would say, you know, WWE Elite Series, blah, blah, blah. And then it would say, like, across the front, like, Make-A-Wish. And then it would say, like, you know, John Cena. And then John Cena, he would either be in maybe, like, a childhood cancer shirt no 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 not childhood cancer that wouldn't be good because more than cancer patients are do make a wish so i take that back um maybe the shirt would be like a make a wish t-shirt and then he'd be in his normal cargo pants and then maybe his hat could either be the make a wish hat or it could be the make a wish star and then maybe as some accessories he could be having like a little sign that said like most make a wishes or he could have like a trophy or a medal or something and then on the back, it would tell his story about like how he's done the most wishes and, you know, maybe just some more facts about it. And then what else could we do on there? You know, on the back, it could maybe it could have some like him saying why he does make a wish and why what it means to him. And yeah, and maybe I would say maybe limited, maybe a thousand, a thousand. I think that would be a good amount uh, to do. And I don't know. I just think that'd be really cool. And then maybe on the back of the box where you can like i don't know if you guys remember on some of the back of the boxes they used to leave like a little um clear piece so you can see the back of the shirt and maybe on this box i don't think they haven't done that in a long time but maybe on this box they can and on the back of his t-shirt it can say how many wishes he's granted and whatnot so i think that would be a really cool figure to have for myself sentimentally because i was a make-a-wish kid for those of you guys who do not know or new to the channel um that john cena you hear at the beginning saying this is john cena and you're watching mystery fan 13 that's a real recording that's not edited that's not faked that's real john cena telling promoting my channel basically 
Um, so that would be really cool to me to have. Um, that would probably be one of my favorite figures I have um, because, you know, Make-A-Wish was a very big thing for me. And, you know, it, it helped me not be depressed and had helped me look so, have something to look forward to. And I got to be my hero, John Cena, that I've loved since I was like six years old. So, you know, that'd be a really, really cool figure to have. Um, I do have Make-A-Wishes like Funko Pop that they released and a bunch of their other Make-A-Wish lines for Funko. And then I know John Cena, I think they did some sort of Make-A-Wish Pop, but I just can't. I, I, I mean, not Pop. Um, figure, I think they did. I might be wrong. I might be imagining things. But I think there was... Um, can't, honestly can't remember too much but I think there was something related to Make-A-Wish but uh yeah that is my number three so my number two uh would be you know speaking of vehicle pops and when I'm, not, when I'm talking about vehicle I mean well not vehicle pops my bad vehicle figures I'm not talking about this no 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 this is cool don't be wrong these are really cool and I love having these on display but I am talking about those new figures we've seen in stores, whether it be the semi truck, the ambulance, Big E on a four wheeler. Um, I don't remember what other figure. I think they had an Undertaker motorcycle. Something I would want to see because we just recently finally got Eddie Guerrero on a low rider Funko Pop. I would want to see a figure where it has um, that kind of playset and it has Eddie Guerrero slow rider. The green. It has to be the green one. The, his green lowrider and then on the inside the box he's standing up doing his like little shake thing and like he's um uh, you know he's on the top of the on top of the uh lowrider and i think that would be such a cool figure to have um you know maybe he could be wearing his t-shirt his uh fire his uh fire uh um themed uh pants his t-shirt maybe like i lie i steal i feel like that's like the most iconic shirt for him to wear um and then his lowrider and then maybe having his, maybe it include one of the belts that he won. Um, maybe then probably the undisputed. Um, and then what else? What else could we include in there? If you guys wanted to do like a two pack, you could have Eddie Guerrero in there. I mean, sorry, not Eddie Guerrero. Um, Rey Mysterio in there since that was like his best friend. Um, but you know that'd be a really cool figure to have, and it's something I would definitely get. Um, and then maybe have you know added feature to the figure. Maybe have the little rider actually like honk horn or like you know play some Eddie Guerrero music or some or maybe like have like Eddie Guerrero catch lines like I lie, cheat, I steal or like you know whatever he you want. Maybe they could put in there. Um, so I think that'd be really really cool. Um, it's something I would definitely buy. I don't really buy those figures kind of figures. Like I don't have the semi truck or the ambulance or the um the motorcycle or the uh, biggie on the four-wheeler best of all if i was if i was a kid though i would have those in my collection and be playing with those all the time but that is one that i would buy because it is just such a iconic thing for me especially because i live in el paso texas where eddie guerrero was born and raised and became eddie guerrero um so that is definitely something that i would pick up and coming at number one it is my one of the only ones on here it is the only one on here that is not a action figure or any kind of playset as far as when it comes to wrestling figures. Um, if you guys don't know, I am very much into Legos. And as far as I can remember, we have never really had WWE Legos. Now, I know you guys are going to say in comment, no, yes, we did. No, we did not have Legos. I, I know a couple years back, I only know this because my nephew, Tyler, he got them. But I do not remember them being the Lego brand. Uh, they were another brand. Um, I don't remember what the brand was called. Um, maybe it's like the bigger Legos. But they did release some uh, Legos where you would build your wrestler or build the little ring. But it was not Lego. It was not the detailed Legos that they have. So what I would want is a WrestleMania. I don't care which WrestleMania. If I got to choose which WrestleMania, I would probably say... Hmm, Maybe like WrestleMania, let's go WrestleMania 30. You know, maybe or maybe WrestleMania, well, maybe let's do the biggest attendance WrestleMania. What is that? WrestleMania 32 in Dallas? Let's do that one because that was the most attended biggest WrestleMania. Um, I would want a Lego set, like over a thousand pieces, big like the, like the Disney Castle Lego set of the WrestleMania either maybe a stage would be cool. I don't think they would do a stage, but maybe like the whole ring and then it would come with like little wrestlers. So maybe it would come with like maybe like um, maybe Roman Reigns, whoever was at that WrestleMania that they decided to do. 
and I just feel like it would be so cool. It would probably be super pricey. The Lego, the, the Lego Disney Castle is like $400, but you know, it'd probably be around that price too. But if you're a big Lego collector like I am, I'm definitely willing to pay that um, or get that for Christmas from my girlfriend because she's usually always the one that buys me the Legos. Um, but you know, that would be such a cool, cool Lego set to have. You know, be able to build the Lego ring, have the Lego wrestlers. Maybe if they could, maybe make a second part and maybe make it the entrance ring to go with it. Sold. Sold. Lego, you would be sold out. They would sell out. I promise you that. Like bring lego to the wrestling fans please whatever we got years ago it, it wasn't cutting it we need actual legos so that is my number one guys i would absolutely love to see a wrestlemania uh ring kind of set for legos that would be like my absolute dream and if they bought it pre-order right away so with that being said guys i really hope you guys enjoyed this video um comment down below like i said what are you guys' top five um dream figures play sets legos maybe i don't know whatever you guys can think of maybe you guys want an art set or like uh i don't know i don't know another video game your dream video game maybe i don't know whatever your favorite dream set or figure action figure whatever it is comment down below and you know maybe one day we'll get it you never know i never thought we would get the eddie guerrero funko pop uh, lowrider edition and we got it so with that being said guys i hope you guys enjoyed smash the thumbs up comment down below and subscribe if you're not already and i will see you guys in the next video are you a supporter of the marine corps absolutely great because a former decorated member of the united states marine corps needs your support